What's up, Nail Geeks? I am back with Polish's newest collection. This is the Hey Let's Go set and is inspired by Studio Ghibli movies. This is such a magical collection. It consists of 16 polishes. Two of them are free with purchase. Um, I will go over those at the end and I'll also include the Black Friday details at the end of the video. This is such a diverse collection. There are so many finishes and colors. I think there's literally something for everyone here and they are so beautiful and Studio Ghibli is awesome. So let's dive right in. First up is Cat Bus. This is a tawny ginger cream with crushed gold flake. So if you have been collecting the gold flake polishes from Polish, um, you're not going to want to miss out on the ones in this collection. They're so stinking pretty. Now this one has a bit of a neutral feel against myself as I am very warm on my undertones but I think it popped very well against me. This is a color that I probably would have shied away from um, had I not actually worked with it. So I can definitely say if you're warm toned like myself, um, don't make that mistake. And uh, this is definitely one that I think is a really interesting color. And I think it's gonna pop on any skin tone, um, even though it does play up just the slightest bit as a uh, very neutral feeling on myself. So I'm gonna suggest two coats for opacity and a glossy top coat to finish it off. And next is Kiki. This is a blackened ink blue cream with crushed gold flake. So this is one of those inky type of blue bases that when you build it up in some lighting, especially like dimmed indoor lighting, it's definitely going to take on an almost black appearance. But in uh, normal lights and in bright lights, you can definitely tell it's this very deep, deep, um, almost dusky type of navy tone. The flakes in this one pop very well against the base color, and I had no problems with them either. Again, I'm going to suggest two coats for full coverage, and it plumps out very nicely, and it has a very strong self-leveling factor with it. Um, this second coat here, you can really get an idea of just how perfect it applies. Really wonderful formula um, on all of them in the set. Spoiler alert, but wonderful, wonderful creamy action. So here on the final hand shot, again, I've got my glossy top coat on and um, you can see just how lovely that is. And next is Gigi. This is a blackened eggplant purple with crushed gold flake. This one is um, kind of similar to Kiki in that in very uh, dimmed lighting, it might take on an almost vampy, somewhat darkened type of black base. But in, again, in bright lights, you'll definitely see that it's this gorgeous, perfect eggplant type of purple, very vampy and dark, but um, the flakes also appear very obvious in person against that dark base too. So really well done. Um, in my experience, when you want things to kind of pop against a dark base, it seems like they always have to be kind of sheer, but that's not the case with these really um, wonderful flaky action happening. And you can kind of see an almost pond effect uh, between your layers. So again, two coats for full coverage and finish off with a glossy top coat and um, really lovely flaky action. And next is Nausicaa. This is a deep teal cream with crushed gold flake. This color is so stinking pretty. It's very flattering. And when you build it up, it's just so gorgeous. It's this lovely, cool toned type of teal. Um, really, really lovely. And I think those flakes pop very well against it too. So this has just the slightest bit of a lighter feel to the formula compared to the others I just showed you guys. But again, I think two coats is gonna be perfect for most. Now on this one, if you polish very thinly or you are rocking those stilettos or longer nails, you might need a third coat. Um, just, I don't know. I just feel like if that's gonna be more of an extreme case, I really feel like two coats itself leveled perfectly. So if you have a free edge similar to mine or shorter, I really do think that two coats is gonna be perfect for you. And again, finish off with a glossy top coat. And next is Arietti. This is a neon pink cream with crushed gold flake. So this is a beautiful neon Barbie pink in my opinion. It's another one of those really flattering types of pinks. Um, I love pink nail polish. It's definitely in my top favorite colors to wear, but I'm incredibly picky with it because a lot of times it's either too warm or somehow my skin makes it look a little bit um, orange leaning, but this is uh, just 
straight up Barbie goodness. It's gorgeous. I do think the video is being color accurate to what I'm seeing in person. It's vibrant. It's definitely got a neon component to it, but when you build it up, it's got this um, lovely rosy type of pinkish effect. Again, reminds me of Barbie. It's wonderful. So super flattering. And again, you can easily see all those gold flakes when you finish off uh, on your last coat. Um, I think this one's also going to be perfect at two coats for most again. And uh, once again, it does dry down flat like the others. So I'm going to suggest a glossy top coat here too. And next we have Howl's Heart. This is a deep indigo blue with sapphire shimmer and gold dust. Back in the day, uh, our friends used to tease my husband and call him Howl because uh, he can sometimes be a diva. Don't tell him I said that. Um, but this one is uh, really lovely. I think it fits the inspiration very well. Now, this one has a very strong metallic feel given that it is just loaded up with that uh, sapphire colored shimmer and this really fine particle goldish like shimmer stuff. It's really nice. I think it flirts almost with having a somewhat foiled effect after you build it up. And uh, this does dry down quite, quite flat. So you're gonna wanna use a good glossy top coat to finish this one off. In person, um, I really like how it has this metallic-y like effect, and you can easily see as um, I'm wiggling my fingers around here that there is that nice contrast between those sapphire shimmers and that gold shimmer too. And next we have Omu. This is a crystal blue with holographic flakes. I love this one too. It's so pretty. I really like finishes like this one. They're just so packed full of holographic flakes that are of the somewhat smaller variety. So it gives you this um, kind of prismatic sort of effect, really holographic in sunlight and in very bright lights and lots and lots of depth. So this is another one that I feel like is coming off pretty color accurate to my screen. This is a very light, somewhat powdery type blue. It is very flattering. And again, we have a very Crelly-like formula. It self levels very well and is super easy to build up to opacity. So I think for the most part, two coats is gonna be perfect for most. And I'm gonna suggest going in with a real glossy top coat to get that holographic uh, flaky effect to really pop on that uh, hollow effect. And next we have Witch of the Waste. This is a warm plum with holographic flakes. So this one's very similar to Omu as well. And um, it's got that real strong prismatic like holographic effect tons and tons of them in here. So really pretty in the sunlight. And this color is everything. It's literally a beautiful fall type of shade. I do agree that it's a very warm type of plum. And to me, in my opinion, I feel like it's almost got a very subtle mauve type lean to it. So almost neutral, but not quite. I think this is just so stunning. This color is amazing. And I think it's going to be flattering on any skin tone. Um, and I think that goes for pretty much every color in this collection, which is impressive to me as there are 16 of them, but I think they're very, very flattering across the board. So here again on the full hand shot, I've got my glossy top coat on and you can see just how um, just prismatic for lack of better words that it looks. And next we have Chihiro. This is a neon rose with a dense pink to gold to copper shifting micro flakes. Now the flakes in this one are very, very tiny. This is the type that uh, builds up to opacity um, in my experience with polishes like this. This is another beautiful pink. It's um, definitely this neon type of strong pinky effect. But I want to note that my swatches and the video are being a touch subtle on the shiftiness to this one. I think in indoor lights and in brighter lights, you'll definitely get this uh, dominant type of bright, vibrant pink effect. But I wanted to note that in shaded lighting, there's definitely this really pretty gold and copper-like shift at angles. Very nice. And I think um, mostly on some of my macros, I think I caught it. Of course, I'll show it at the end of the video for the recap, but um, there's definitely that nice gold color roll to it. Now for opacity on this one, I'm gonna suggest three coats to build it up, plump it out, and really make that color pop like crazy. This is um, just really nice. It's got that super strong, almost shimmery-like look because the flakes are so tiny, and um, just overall gorgeous type of pink with that nice shift to it. And next we have Toxic Jungle. This is a bright emerald green with dense green to blue shifting micro flakes. So this is very similar in formula to Chihiro in that, again, we have 
opacity built up to this really tiny micro flake like effect. And again, I want to stress that I don't think I did this one justice in terms of the color roll you're going to see in person. The shift to it is on the subtle side, but um, in shaded lighting and at very extreme angles, I think there is definitely this lovely blue shift to them. But I think in indoor lighting, you're definitely going to get this dominant, very vibrant emerald like color roll to it. It's really intense and so gorgeous. Now for opacity on this one, I'm going to suggest between two and three coats, depending on how you polish for this one. Um, really, really going to depend on that. So this also dries down on the flat side. So once again, good glossy top coat to finish this one off and you'll be good to go. And next is Spirit of the Forest. This is a deep teal with a mix of flakes and shimmer that shift from green to blue to purple. This is a really interesting color in my opinion. The base color is definitely this tealish sort of shade, but there's definitely, in my opinion, a uh, grayish type of dusky undertone, but the shimmer and the flakes match up in their color roll, and I think it kind of warms up that base color and lots and lots of depth. Now this has a Crelly-like formula to it, so it has just a bit of a squish factor when you're applying, but it is very smooth on the brush strokes like a cream. The flakes are of the larger variety and I had no problems with them uh, laying down flat for me. So no issues with them poking up or anything like that. And uh, in person, I think in just about any lighting that you're in, you're going to see a really lovely um, contrast between the shimmer and flakes and the base color. So uh, this dusky teal to this lovely limey, almost emeraldish short sort of uh, green shift happening with them too. Now this one dries down quite flat, so I'm going to suggest a good glossy top coat for sure on this one. And next we have Ponyo. This is an aqua with lightly scattered holographic and gold to green shifting shimmer. So this is another absolute stunner. It's so stinking pretty. There's lots and lots of shimmer in it. And in bright lights, you're definitely going to see this gold type of cast, like what you see on the video. But um, in shaded lighting, there's a gorgeous green type of shift from the shimmer. Lots and lots of glow with this. This is very creamy on the brush strokes. It self levels really well, but because it's so packed full of shimmer, I am going to caution and uh, suggest going in real light on those brush strokes, like what I'm doing on the second coat here, and uh, you'll prevent any sort of streaks from showing. This is so flattering and beautiful in person. I really feel like you just can't go wrong with any of the colors in this set. So the full hand shot here, once again, I've got a glossy top coat on and I am good to go. And next we have Calcifer. This is a molten red scattered holographic with red to gold shifting multi-chrome shimmer. This has a wonderful, very dense and opaque formula to it. I want to almost classify this one as a one coat polish. Um, it is just wonderful, but I'm going to suggest going in very thin on your coats and going in for two thin coats on it. And I think that's going to plump it out the best and flatter it very, very well. Now in indoor lighting, um, you're going to see what you see on the video, this lovely type of warm sort of red, um, but it's got so much of that red to gold shifting shimmer in it. It's very pretty. There's an easy coppery type of gold uh, color roll to it that you can kind of see um, in the full hand shot here and lots of that scattered holographic effect. And again, finish off with a glossy top coat to seal it off. And next we have Soot Sprites. This is a sheer charcoal with holographic flakes and purple to pink to gold shifting shimmer. One of my favorites, once again, this is uh, just packed full of that holographic flaky effect that gives that really nice prismatic feel to it. And the shimmer here gives this lovely strong purple type of cast to it. Now it angles this easily shifts over to a pink and a gold very, very nice. This has a very dense, heavy type of formula to it, but it's very smooth on the brush strokes and just, and is very, very easy to build up. So again, I'm going to suggest going in very light on those brush strokes, let it self level out and you'll prevent any sort of streaks and finish off with a glossy top coat. And it'll have so much shimmery goodness with that flaky action. And next we have the free gifts with purchase. This is Spirited Away and is a medium periwinkle cream with crushed gold flake. Now this one will be free on all orders over $50 and um, it's not going to be an option to purchase um, when you're checking out. But please note once you order, it will be added when your order is being packed. 
So this has a curly like formula to it. It definitely has a touch of that squishy jelly feel on application, but it is very smooth and strongly self leveling. This is such a lovely, what I consider to be a true periwinkle base color in my opinion. Lots of flaky action happening with it too. Now this one's really gonna depend on how you polish for uh, whether or not you need two or three coats. I personally found that going in normal for me, uh, I thought it looked beautiful at two coats, but again, if you polish lightly or you have longer nails, you might need to go in for a third coat. And finally, we have Lady Eboshi. This is a deep plum with holographic flakes and pink to copper to gold shifting micro flakes. This one is free on all orders over 80. So um, if you, order over $80 or more, you will get Lady Eboshi and Spirited Away. So this polish has created uh, quite the frenzy in what I'm seeing in the uh, Facebook groups. Um, a lot of people, and from what I've been seeing, have been asking for dupes and whatnot. Um, I honestly can't think of one for this. And when I worked on this one, I was blown away. It was absolutely stunning. And I think it definitely deserves um, the hype that it's getting. It's very, very pretty very glowy and lots of that holographic effect with a beautiful, very opaque formula. I really can't see anyone needing to go past two coats on it. And again, finish off with a glossy top coat. Um, I'm not even a purple lover and I thought this one was absolutely gorgeous too. Now the sale will start November 27th at 12.01 a.m. Central Time and will run until November 30th at 11.59 p.m. Central Time. Multiple orders will be combined and refunded. Any excess shipping um, during the sale, this is an open pre-order. So um, basically anything pretty much goes. So shipping um, is expected to be completely finished by December 18th. Now the collection will also be on sale. There's gonna be no codes needed. So the new polishes along with some oldies are gonna be offered up and they will be discounted. So there will be free US shipping on orders over 50, free shipping for Canadian orders over 80 and free shipping everywhere else for orders over 120. I'm gonna break all of this down below in the description box and I'll also link you guys to Polishes Shop if you want to, um, again, have that browser open and you want to uh, preview it when it goes up and the Facebook fan group if you want additional swatches and all that good stuff. Uh, I'm not done yet with you guys. I have several more videos to go. Uh, thank you for bearing with me on this. Again, I have beautiful, pretty things to show you guys. So sorry, not sorry. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.